For this lesson, we are going to discuss what spawn points are and how exactly you can set up a spawn point to spawn people at the beginning of their level or any other case, just based on whatever rules you have inside of Flowgraph. So to begin, we need to get a Flowgraph entity. I'm going to double click and add it to the scene. And holding and pressing Control Shift, I'm going to snap it to this box. I'm going to right click and I'm going to create a flow graph and I'm going to call it spawn underscore FG. Let's go ahead and dock this at the base. And we can go ahead and say we want a start node, but we still need to have a spawn. So typically speaking, if I back up and I go into game right now, you'll see that I'm falling down from the ground. I'm basically spawning exactly where my camera was, and that's not exactly what you want in a game. So what you can do is create a spawn point. If we go to the Others category, we'll find Spawn Point in the Entities. We can double-click that, and we can add it to the scene. I'm going to press G so I can zoom in and see exactly what's going on. And then I'm going to rotate this by minus 90 on the Z. And I'm going to add it into my flow graph. So it's pretty easy to understand what you want done, and that is the output is spawning on game start. So if I were to go back to where I was before and where I dropped, let's see if it still happens this time. So I'm going to go into game, and you'll see that this time I spawned exactly facing the same direction as well as the spawn point has in the middle of the pit. So that was a quick and easy tutorial on how exactly you can use spawn points and enable them at game start, or, you know, the spawning at game start, so you can have people start the level exactly where you want it and then have it play out through the entire story.